Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Paquette and welcome to a very exciting tutorial on Adobe After Effects. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply effects to your face in Adobe After Effects. For example, <laughs> you're going to see it's not that difficult, very fun to do. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so with After Effects loaded up, I have some footage of myself making a very intimidating face, as you can see. Now in order to apply our effect, the first thing we need to do is come up to Window and select Tracker. And with our footage selected, we need to click Track Motion. And for the track type, we want to hit Stabilize. And we also want the Rotation option on. And that will give us two tracking points. So I'll put one over on the edge of my eye and the other one at the other edge. I'm going to increase the track data about to the top of my eyelid right there and coming down to the uh, iris of my eye. Uh, let's see, and the outer one, put it to the eyebrow and make that come right down the pupil. Do the same thing for this one over here. Bring it to the top of the eyelid and eyebrow to the center of the pupil. And next thing we should do is click this button here. Make sure you're at the center or the beginning of the timeline, and we will click this button to analyze forward. And that's going to create our tracking data to apply all of our effects and anything else we want. So I'm going to hit apply, and you want that on the X and the Y dimensions. And here is all of our tracking data, but there's one problem. Some of the frame is cut off now as a result of the stabilization. So we're going to fix that by selecting our layer and coming up to layer. Hit pre-compose. And I'm going to name this face comp. And we're going to move all of the attributes to the new composition. Hit OK. Now, the next thing we need to do is increase the composition size to where it does not cut off uh, our video frame. So I'm going to hit Control K. And for the width, I'm going to do 2200 by 1450. And depending on uh, your stabilization, you can adjust that as necessary. But the main thing you want to do is make sure that the footage does not leave the composition area. And so far, it looks pretty good. So the next thing we need to do is pick whip our data to the original comp. And this is the most confusing part of this tutorial, so if you keep up with this, uh, everything should be golden. So I have both timelines showing here, and I'm going to show off the, uh, the tracking data of the original versus the one that we want to apply it to. With the face comp selected, I'm going to hit P, Shift R, Shift A, which will bring up the anchor point, position, and the rotation. And we'll do the same thing for this one. I'm going to hit P, Shift R, Shift A. And I'm going to Alt click on the anchor point stopwatch. And I'm going to pick whip that to the position. I'm going to Alt click the position, pick whip that to the anchor point, and Alt click the rotation, and pick whip to the rotation. And at the end of this expression, I'm going to hit multiply negative 1. Now, I know I did that a little fast, but I'll briefly go over it. I pick whipped the anchor point to position, position to anchor point, and rotation to rotation. But at the end of the rotation expression, I added multiply negative 1 to reverse the data. So one more time, anchor point to position, position to anchor point, rotation to rotation, with some extra information, multiply negative 1 at the end of rotation. So now, that should have stabilized everything, and we should not have anything being cut off anymore, and it looks like it is going well. That's good. So now, with uh, all of our expressions in place, we can actually apply effects without generating uh, keyframes and making this painstakingly difficult. Uh, for example, I'll just take these uh, sunglasses here, and actually I need to, I see, scale that down. I'll hit S and kind of just position that into place. 
And I'll have to, if, if I play it, it doesn't move, but if I parent this to the composition, it will now move with it, which is exactly what we want. But if I don't have an image and I just want to apply visual effects, I can uh, select my composition here, come up to Effect, Distort, and I'm going to use Liquify. And I'm going to zoom in here, and if I hold Control and click, I can increase the uh, brush size. That one's for free. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm going to just uh, make my eyes a little big. Maybe, yeah, let's make them both big. It's kind of freaky. Actually, uh, let's get rid of that. I want to move it up to where I start to freak out. And let me make my mouth a little bit bigger. And you can tweak around with all the tools up here in the uh, Equify options. There's a lot of them that could give you all sorts of uh, different brush effects depending on what you want to do. I'm not going to try, I'm not going to do too much on this because time is of the essence. Uh, let's make my nose a little bit smaller. Got a honker there, I make this quite small. And I guess the last thing I'm going to do is probably make my head a little bit bigger. And I'm having one bad hair day here. Okay, so um, now if I go to the beginning of the timeline, as you can see, <laughs> excuse me, oh my goodness. Okay, um, if, if I go to the beginning of the timeline, all of the effects are still applied here. I'm trying to keep a straight face here. Um, if, <laughs> if I move up, um, I want my effect to start right there. So I'm going to hit the uh, stopwatch for the distortion percentage, and that's at 100%. If I go to the beginning, uh, let me select my layer and hit U. There's our keyframe we just created. If I go to the beginning and I bring this down to zero, now I look normal again. So now let's go to the end of the timeline here where I start becoming normal again. And I'll create another keyframe by clicking this little button here and we'll move forward oh my goodness and I'll, I'll hit zero and there's our other keyframe so now everything warps into place as it should so let's hit space and see how this looks okay that looks pretty good but I see I made one little mistake here uh, it does tend to blend in uh, way too long in advance, so I'm just going to uh, click and drag this over here, and we'll hit space one more time. Okay, so in a nutshell, that is how you apply effects to your face in Adobe After Effects. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.